Good evening. So I'm going to talk to you today about a case um, that happened in 1971, Phillips versus the Martin Marietta Corporation. Um, so basically this um, case involved Ida Phillips, who went to apply for a job at Martin Marietta Corporation. And when she got there to fill out her application, she was told they don't not take applications nor hire women who have preschool aged children. Um, but they did, however, hire men who had preschool aged children. So she filed a sexual discrimination case. Um, originally that case was referred to the NAACP, um, even though Miss Phillips was white. Um, it went to the federal district court in Orlando um, where it ruled in favor of the corporation. And then it went to the Circuit Court of Appeals and they sided again with the district court. Um, and her lawyer, um, James Robinson, then took it to the Supreme Court. Um, and now the Supreme Court had a gave a per curiam opinion, which means it was anonymous. However, um, Justice Marshall did write a concurrence with it. Um, however, I'm going to go back to what um, her lawyer argued on behalf of her case. And he argued that since the passing in 1964 of the Civil Rights Act, um, there are no longer men jobs and women jobs. Um, and women should be treated as individuals with the right to show their own merits. Sorry, I'm trying to read his quote exactly so I don't get it wrong. Um, the last, the last quote, which I find so important, is 4.2 million women would be out of work if all firms applied this same ban as Martin Marietta did against mothers with small children. Um, now, the Supreme Court's opinion, while anonymous, was to send it back to the Court of Appeals. They said, no. You know, you cannot... Um, you cannot look at it this way. And Justice Marshall said, I agree with, uh, with the Supreme Court's opinion. You know, um, but he said that the company should not have a bona fide occupational qualification, which is what the opinion said the company would need to do um, or could do in order to um, prove that they couldn't tire women with children. Um, but he said they should not they should not have this because mothers of preschool age children have family responsibilities that interfere and men do not. And and Justice Marshall said no. The criteria must be neutral. Men and women need to be treated the same. Um, so a bona fide occupational qualification allows discrimination basically if you can prove that the job requires certain things, um, like a religious affiliation, if you work for a certain church, or the hiring of actors of a certain sex or race or nationality, um, basically for authenticity purposes. Um, there, I, I, don't, I don't see how they can say, you know, we can't hire women with children of a certain age because they, they might have family responsibilities, that has nothing to do with their qualification for what they're doing as a job. And I think that that moves into now where it's um, illegal, according to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, to ask questions such as if an applicant is pregnant, do they have childcare, are they married? You know, those things have no bearing on if a person is qualified for a job. Um, when I had to do a mock interview for my internship class last semester, and um, we had to prepare a resume and go in and, and have a job interview with someone who was then gonna, going to critique us, and I have not been um, employed for a long period of time. Well, I am now, thanks to my internship. Um, I had been a stay-at-home mom. I'd run my own business, 
um, from my home, but I had been a stay-at-home mom for about 17 years at that point. So I went in, and when they when she asked me um, if you know I wanted to to share something about myself, I you know gave you know my my background, my qualifications, and then I said you know I've been out of the workforce for a few years. I stay at home with my children. They are growing. They are grown up now. They don't need me. Um, but while I was home, I did these things. I took some classes. I went back to finish my degree. I had my own business doing web design and development. And um, she said afterwards, she said I handled it really well because it's completely illegal for her to ask those questions. And sometimes it's a big question mark, a red flag, when there's just this giant gap on someone's resume. So I was glad um, that I handled it that way, and I was glad that she explained that to me so that I know um, for future reference. But I think that that's important. Um, sometimes we feel, women especially, need a job, and um, we may not be assertive enough to say, you can't ask me that question. Um, you know, and related to this, um, it just happened um, very, very recently. I believe the last election cycle, so, you know, last year, where um, the Federal Election Rules Committee um, basically made a ruling where women and men, but especially it was for women, could use their campaign contributions for child care. Because for many women, it was kind of like, oh, well, how are they going to pay for their child care if they have children? And that not only kept women from running, but it also, um, you know, it was kind of in the back of people's head because we do live in such a patriarchal society still where women take care of the family and men don't. Um, so I think that this, I think this case was really important, um, you know, for, for women, um, that they, they can't be, they can't be excluded from a job just because they have children, small children, children of any age. And, you know, if, if a person is qualified for their job, it should not matter whether they are married, whether they have children, or even if, well, if they are pregnant. Um, and that is, I think, very important of this Phillips versus Martin Marietta Corporation. So thank you very much.